The Life and Sad Ending of Cassandra Peterson Cassandra Peterson was born on September 17, 1951, in Manhattan, Kansas. She grew up in the Randolph area of Kansas until the area was flooded to build the Turtle Creek Reservoir. Then she, along with her family, moved to Colorado Springs. When she was a year and a half old, she met with a kitchen accident. She accidentally pulled a pan of boiling eggs off the stove and burned over a third of her body. At school, she was teased for her scars. She attended General William J. Palmer High School and graduated in 1969. When she was just a teen, she worked as a go-go dancer in a local gay bar. Cassandra Peterson dreamed of a career in show business from a young age. At the age of 17, she convinced her parents to let her sign a contract to become a showgirl in Viva La Girls at the Dunes in Las Vegas. In 1971, she appeared in a brief role as a showgirl in the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever and was featured as a topless dancer in The Working Girls in 1974. She posed as a stripper on the cover of Tom Waits album Small Change in 1976. In Las Vegas, she befriended Elvis Presley, who encouraged her to become a singer. Acting on his advice, she moved to Italy in the 1970s to become the lead singer of the Italian rock band Latin's 80 and The Snails. After she returned to the U.S., she toured nightclubs and discos with a musical comedy act, Mama's Boys, along with seven men. She also posed nude for Playboy magazine and modeled for several men's magazines, like High Society, Man's Delight, and Modern Man. In 1979, she joined the Los Angeles-based comedy troupe The Groundlings to learn acting and comedic skills. There, she created a Valley Girl-type character, on which the character of Elvira was loosely based. For a year, she also toured with the Los Angeles radio station KROQ-FM. In 1981, the producers of the horror show Friday Night on KHJ-TV wanted to revive the popular show. They held an audition, which was cleared by Peterson. The producers gave her a free hand to create the image of the horror hostess. She took her friend Robert Redding's help and created the sexy, vampish look of her character Elvira. Before the show could be aired, Myla Nurmi, the former host of The Vampire Show, sent a cease and desist letter to the producers, complaining that the character and costume of Elvira were too similar to those of Vampira. However, the court ruled in the favor of Peterson. The show, Elvira's Movie Macabre, which launched in September 1981, It aired B-grade horror movies and was occasionally interrupted by sarcastic comments from the hostess Elvira. It ran for five seasons. Within a short period of time, her character Elvira became a craze and a brand. The character was soon associated with many products, like Halloween costumes and decor, comic books, trading cards, calendars, perfumes, and dolls, to name a few. In order to branch out, she hosted a home video series, Thriller Video, in 1985, which became successful, leading to a second video series, Elvira's Midnight Mattis, the same year. She also appeared in a non-Elvira film, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, followed by Echo Park and Alan Quarterman and the Lost City of Gold in 1986. Her popularity as Elvira reached its peak with the release of the feature film Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, in 1988, when she reprised her role as Elvira. She also co-wrote its script with John Paragon and Sam Egan. In 2001, she co-wrote and co-produced Elvira's Haunted Hills. Due to lack of funds for promotion, she screened the film at an AIDS charity event. Eventually, the film was premiered in Hollywood in 2002 and was screened at the Cannes Film Festivals the following year. In September 2010, Movie Macabre and Elvira returned in syndication. Another show, 13 Nights of Elvira, started airing in October 2014 on Hulu, an American subscription video platform. 
She also appeared as Elvira in comic books from DC Comics, Eclipse Comics, and Claypool Comics. While DC Comics published Elvira's House of Mystery, Claypool Comics published Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Two more paperback collections were published, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Comic Milestones Comics Format, and Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Double Delights. In the 1980s and 1990s, a number of computer games based on Elvira were developed, including Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Elvira 2, The Jaws of Cerberus, and Elvira, the arcade game. Some Elvira-themed pinball games were developed as well. The character of Elvira was also featured in the PlayStation 3 game Pain, produced in 2007. In her personal life, Cassandra Peterson married her personal manager, Mark Pearson, in 1981. They have a daughter, Sadie Pearson, who was born on October 12, 1994. The couple divorced in February 2003. She once briefly dated Elvis Presley. Probably right now is her worst time, when her health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Cassandra Peterson. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.